Some people have written books, some have a great look that covers the magazines for kids who are 17. But I don't know what to do, staring into the blue sky and just waiting. So we're at uh, Imperial Beach in San Diego, South San Diego. Pacific Coastal Highway is right behind us. And we're just about three miles north of the border of uh, Mexico. We're checking out uh, Imperial Beach here. A few observations already. The, uh, the beach is a lot cleaner than many of the beaches we've been to, which is awesome. Secondly, the uh, amount of shells on this beach and sand dollars is really unmatched for many of the other beaches we've visited. Really thousands and thousands and thousands of shells as you're walking. Many of them uh, are full, pristine shells of all sizes, tons of the little tiny ones. But there's plenty that we've seen are four or five, six inch shells in perfect condition two, three inch sand dollars all over the place. And the other thing that's really, uh, we haven't seen on any other beaches is, there's like gold flake. Literally gold flake is what it looks like all throughout the water here. So the water's just glistening when you when the waves come in and go out. The, uh, the gold flakes are just gorgeous to watch as they float in the water and then land on the sand. It's, it's pretty amazing. I was just talking about the gold, the way the gold flakes. Oh Pretty be beautiful, huh? So we mentioned on our last video that uh, we had three quarters of our equation down and we just needed to get our uh, toe that we're going to call wet sprocket. the wet sprocket, as in towed the wet sprocket of course. So last week we left from the Seattle area to come down to San Diego for some meetings. We made a very quick trip down the coast, we didn't really um, get to stop and enjoy we stop enjoyed anywhere. much of the washington and oregon and the northern california scenery on the drive we boondocked at a couple places uh, one being uh, huntington beach with so we we actually stopped in huntington beach to take a look at our option sprocket. for sprocket and we ended up purchasing that vehicle and we will reveal it in just a couple of moments it's parked in the parking lot behind us here at imperial beach in south san diego so we spent uh, a few days here. I had some meetings to go to. We did get to take a nice hour ride or so on the uh, on the Harleys. And uh, today's our last Pacific Coast beach until next summer when we come back out. So we'll be heading home tomorrow, making our way home to uh, St. Louis with some stops in uh, Arizona, Mexico. New Mexico, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And then, surprise, don't tell. Yeah, and then, uh, and then we'll be home for the holidays. And we've got a, a, a special place it's in Southern Missouri. Well, it's well, astronomical. Astronomical, that's a good one. It's astronomical.
see he has soft right there. And see, he's alive. So I'm gonna flip him back over. Come on, buddy. Joe, see right here, he's soft. Yeah. He's moving. See him moving? And there he goes. Did you see him moving though? I was gonna keep him because he was such a pretty color, but rolling back up, try to save him. I'm coming. Like your starfish story. Just standing there with the wind in your golden hair Didn't know your name But I could feel it with every heartbeat Every time that eyes would meet Didn't know back then And even in my wildest dreams So our new uh, vehicle, the tow behind Our towed the wet sprocket as we are affectionately calling it, is that was anticlimactic. I said we weren't going to get a Jeep. Well, originally we talked about getting a Jeep, and then when we were visiting uh, her dad, Charlie, um, he started talking about a Volkswagen van, and uh, we looked into some of those split-window Volkswagen vans, and they're absolutely adorable. We we're gonna get one, but they just are all out of our price range that are in the condition that we want them to be. So we then thought about getting just a uh, ragtop slug bug, considering we're only gonna use it for kind of trolling around when we're um, at a destination. Um, we looked at quite a few of those and just decided that it just wasn't uh, really fitting what we needed. It was a little bit too small. It felt like we were settling, so we decided to go ahead and go back to our original idea, which was a Jeep that we can pull behind. It has uh, nice T-tops, and uh, the top comes off. So uh, we are styling for some great destinations, and we've got the tow bar all set up to pull this behind us. And maybe in a few years, we'll revisit that split window Volkswagen. And we're gonna say goodbye to San Diego, head back east, spend the holidays and then head all the way to the east coast of Florida um, for the winter time. So say goodbye to the beach for a while, say goodbye to the Navy ships and the San Diego weather. Never thought that you could fall for someone